It's a rainy day here today and I've got several projects going on in the shop. I usually don't share some of the details of this stuff because I feel like it might be just boring. But today I decided maybe I'll just kind of show you some of the projects I've got going on. You might find them interesting, you might not. Either way, let's get started. We got a new grapple outside, actually two new grapples. And that would be really good, except that one of the two, either during the shipping or right as we were trying to scoot the thing around to get it ready to hook onto the loader from the side of the truck, we damaged a hose. So I think it's right here. Hopefully you can see it. The swivel end just busted right off of this hose. It's frustrating. Swivels don't seem to be quite as strong as the non-swivel ends. My buddies at DiscountHydraulicHose.com made me up a hose, replacement hose here, and so I've got to get it ready. Usually when I get a hose like this, I request a swivel on one end and a, you know, just a solid fixed connector on the other end. I'm going to put some pipe dope on here. A little does a little good, a lot will do a lot of good. These are pipe threads on this particular connector. Now anytime you're using NPT pipe threads for a connector, you have to tighten them. In fact, I'm going to set the camera down so I can get the vise here good and tight. Good and tight. Oops, looks like I'm going to have to have a backer here. I found that as I'm working with hydraulic stuff more and more, I just have to go through more shop towels. Hydraulics are a mess. I told you it's a rainy day. It's stopped raining for the time being here, so just long enough for me to show you these two new grapples. They're identical, except for the quick attach. This is the JDQA. This is the skid steer Q quick attach. The reason this one is expanded like this is because that's the hose that, that blew and wouldn't allow us to to contract it and use its regular built-in parking stand. Although, I'm not a real big fan of the parking stand anyway. I'll let you have a look. I mean, it's it's built strong enough, that's not what I mean. I just, I just don't need it. For typical operation, I'll just fold it over forwards and, and leave it on the ground that way. Okay, let's see if we can get this hose put on. Okay, here we go. Must be a swivel in there, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I quite have the right size wrench for that. It's fascinating. The swivel end is smaller than the fixed end. Well, I guess that was a coupler hose. Maybe I'll get a tractor out here in a minute and show you what that looks like. This grapple's from Precision, Precision MFG. It's an update to the earlier grapple. First thing you'll notice is it opens a lot wider. It opens really wide. Next project, well, I already did before I got the camera out. I hadn't done this in years, so I really hated to do it on camera. I was afraid that uh, I didn't know what I was doing. I might not have known what I was doing, but had to put a plug here in the gator tire. Had the gator down on the farm in Illinois the other day, and Randall was driving around uh, trying to do some work on the edge of the field. I don't know if we've already shown you that episode, uh, but if not, it will be upcoming soon. And he ran some thorns in the these tires. The big uh, black locust or honey locust, whichever one's the bad one, black locust I think, um, that has the thorns. And uh, some of those thorns, I mean, they, they could just tear up these tires in a heartbeat. So we found at least two leaks in this one. The other one was up here. They put that plug in while we were down there. So, like I say, it's the first plug I put in in years. Before and, well, somewhat during the rain this morning, Christy and I mowed the yard. We did get it done, but it was pretty wet by the time we got done. I was on Johnny too, made a mess there, and Christy was on Vinny.
clear I'm gonna have to rinse them off but uh, maybe we'll go ahead and get the loader back on Johnny 2 here and I've got a couple of projects to work on but we'll see if we can get that grapple connected and see if I can show you that that's the artillery and diverter up there to the right Tempted to hit that at times. When I drive it down the back out, I have to be a little bit careful. My single point connector. I have this is the artillery and diverter electric wire here, and I just kind of keep it tucked there. Press the red button here. Pull this up about halfway, and then that will come back when we need it to, which is now. do this one-handed or not, sorry. Kind of get it started. Right through there like that. Hold it down. As soon as the button clicks out, you know you're far enough. Now I always connect up both sides of this wire. The main reason just it keeps the plugs empty or you know and keeps them both clean even though one of them is a dummy side so there's what it looks like when it's all connected is to it. Set these forks off over here and then we'll get the grapple attached. You know I'm pretty sloppy about certain things, pretty lazy I guess. But I always make a point to, to pin these up, even if I'm just gonna be immediately rehooking. Otherwise, it's pretty easy to drag this cable here, break it, and then you'll no longer have that feature of them being, you know, cable attached. Um, so I always pin those up, even if it's just for a moment. You know, we thought we were going to be tilling yesterday and today. In fact, I got home the other night and put the tiller on. <laughs> Rained overnight, even though it wasn't supposed to. So, tiller came back off and the backhoe went on for a different project. Should have done this before I hooked it up. They've got this nice sleeve here. Should have even done it before I put the coupler on. I may have difficulty. Oh, it's gonna work. Let's see if this works for me. It works for Millennial Farmer. There it is, all finished. Now I just need to plug them in here. No idea which one's which. I'll just choose one and hopefully it'll be the right one. 50% chance, unless you have poor memory and then you can do it wrong multiple times, right? Let's see if that works. That's the way I like them hooked up. I consider to push outward to be to dump. So when I push the button here on the knob, to me to, to, to pull toward me is to, to curl with the load or to clamp. So in other words, that's what I use that when I'm loading, I use that when I'm unloading. Maybe that's a better way of saying it. Load, unload, whether or not I'm using the button or not. Load, unload, load, unload, load. Unload. The guys at Precision are pretty excited about the opening width of this grapple and 
I, I can understand why. I find the opening width on any grapple to be usually the limiting factor. Uh, a lot of them just don't open big enough to give you the kind of load you're really wanting to hold. So let's see if we can measure it here and see what we come up with. They claim 48 inches, so let's see. I'm trying to be right there at that tip at the bottom and at the top. I don't have a screen in front of me, so I can't tell for sure if I've got both at the same time. I'll move the camera down, back up, and I believe 48 inches is a fair measurement for that. If I was a little bit skeptical, I might say 47 and 3 quarters, but I'm willing to go with 48. That's, uh, that's quite an opening for that grapple. And that'll be a load. If I can clamp that much down, that'll be a load. Now, so let's take a little bit more look at this particular grapple. In this size, I don't know of any other two clamp grapples. Uh, most of them have only one clamp all the way across. If you've watched our channel very much, you see that the two clamps really helps a lot. And as from my perspective, almost every load is uneven. The only loads that aren't uneven are the one big long log that everybody likes to show in a, a video or a still photo. And while it's really cool to see that it can pick up that one log, that's that's nifty and all, that's not 98% of my loads. Usually it's the underbrush that's surrounding that one big log or just pieces that I, that I have to pick up. It's almost always a, a, an uneven load. And you can see that in our videos. I really like two clamps. Both these grapples are two clamps, okay, and now there's been some discussion, I might say, that this will uh, flex a bit, right? If you, if you put the load right out here, since the cylinder's on the far side, that it will flex a bit. I would see that flex with my prior precision grapple, but every time I let the pressure off, it would return to normal. So I never saw it actually bend. It would flex a little, but it would not bend. And that's really what I care about. I, I don't really mind it flexing if, when I grab a, a, a load as tight as I can, as long as it doesn't permanently deform itself. This grapple's a little bit wider than the prior generation. I believe this one's 59 inches wide whereas the other one was 57. And they did that to be able to get a little bit more protection for the cylinders and for the hoses. They have uh, places to route on the insides of the, the uh, JDQA here and SSQA. They can route these hoses just a little bit more protected by having this extra space here. Um, I, I don't know a whole lot about the geometry changes they made to allow the larger opening width, but they, they were right in here somewhere. It rained today or else we'd go get some brush right now with it. But I got one more project to work on today. Let's check it out. Ever since we've introduced the Summit Rear Hydraulic Solution, the biggest question I've been getting is where do you get your three-point top link? And then once they order the top link, they say, well, where do you get your hoses? We got this top link at shopgreendealer.com slash TTWT. And, of course, you can get a 5% discount there. And they didn't have the right parts for the hoses as of this airing. So, as usual, I've partnered with Discount Hydraulic Hose. Now, I haven't put the coupler on here, but I just, I'll be able to test this for length. I've asked for two different length hoses. Depending on your application, these elbows may need to be oriented differently, right? I mean, you can orient it this way, you can orient it side an angle. But the way I've arranged this is this kit right here. Oh, well, look at that, the swivel keeps swiveling. That is nice. I like it. I like it better than what I had before with the other one. So even when it's tight, it swivels. That'll give us the kind of flexibility we need. I've asked them to include elbows on both ends. We've got this elbow here in the connector itself, and then I've asked them to include this elbow to allow us to hook up. Now on the 1025R rear SCV solution from Summit, we really need this elbow right here. In some applications, you may not. Um, I think I'm gonna ask them to change this kit so that both sides of these, we can either direct connect or use the elbow. We'll see how that comes along. Uh, that's what I had on the earlier Kit. and um, But this kit 
is available at discounthydraulichose.com slash TTWT and we'll name it uh, Top Link Hose Kit. Okay, so that you can uh, know exactly what you're getting and, and this goes with the shopgreendealer.com top link and that way you know it'll all fit up and work fine. Okay, I think that about does it for the projects I have going on. I do have one more hose broken here. That's all the way since last summer on the big DB150 offset brush mower for Johnny 5. Uh, I'm still waiting on replacement parts for that, but uh, when I get that I'll, I'll be able to get the DB150 going again. Yeah, again, sorry I didn't mean to make this an advertisement for anything. It's just kind of the stuff I have to do in the background, right? There's a lot of uh, fitment things like trying to see if those hoses fit, um, a lot of either repair work or maybe it's more just uh, in installation and configuration of items. But that's just kind of the stuff that goes on in the background. I don't know if you guys are interested in it in an ongoing basis. If so, I can try to show more of it. It would make the channel a little more vlog style, right? A little more of what we're doing today rather than these standalone episodes uh, like we usually show. I kind of like the standalone episodes because even if you watch one several years later, it's still just as relevant uh, as it, it was back then. But some of you may prefer uh, at least some of these what's going on at TTWT type episodes. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. What do you think Martha? You like my measuring tape? Are you tiring of the measuring tape? That doesn't happen. Bullseye's excited about it. <laughs> <laughs>